What's going on, world? It's your boy A1 Aaron. Tomlin Trucking, man, coming to you guys with a video. I hope you all doing well. I'm out here in wonderful West Virginia having my morning tea with my sea balls in it, some elderberries, and some other goodies. We got to stay healthy out here on the road, man. We got to stay healthy out here. We got to learn to uh, cleanse the liver. You know, our liver is our, is, our, is our filtration system, along with the kidneys, but we got to clean both, particularly, but mainly our liver. So we got we to gotta get the garbage out of there, you know? But I'm making this video for you guys today for, I get a lot of questions. I have a lot of people in my, um, in the, in my DM sending me uh, messages asking a lot of the same questions. So the best way to answer the questions is to, to do a video and try to cover most of those questions. Now listen, I'm not gonna tell you how to do everything. I'm not gonna give you the whole game and everything because that's just silly. You have to remember, a lot of people that you see who's bought a truck or they've been in the industry for a lot of years, this ain't something they did overnight. This came from years and years of work, studying and understanding the industry, okay? Hell, man, look, it took me 12 years to go get a truck. You understand? But all of that time, I was driving the truck and I was learning. You understand? And you're going to have to do the same. Now, something I learned a long time ago. If you read, reading one book can save you five years of mistakes. Yes, that is very true. So, of course, you want to learn from someone like myself or other people out here who's doing it so it can save you five years of hell. But that doesn't mean we should give you the game all in one shot. You understand? You wouldn't go to Bill Gates and say, yo, bro, tell me how to get rich right now. You would ask a question that's a little more complex. You know, you would put a little more thought into your question. So you're not going to ask one person. They're going to tell you everything how to do it. Eventually, the person going to say, man, figure it out. That's the beautiful thing about us as human beings. That's the beautiful stuff about us. You know, we human beings, we love the challenge. I mean, I know I love the challenge. I love the challenges. You know, I love the ups and downs because when you complete these ups and downs, they do something to you mentally. You understand? It does something to you mentally, I promise you. But a lot of the questions I get in my, in my DM is that, um, you know, I'm 21, I'm 22, 23, 25, um, you even 30. I don't know much about trucks. I want to be an owner operator. I want to buy a truck. I want to get in the industry. I don't have a CDLs. I want to get in the industry. And in my personal opinion, my advice to you would be the way I did it is I went and worked for a major carrier, a mega carrier. I wouldn't work for JB Hunt. I'm not going to bad mouth JB Hunt. There might be some of you guys who had a bad experience there. I had a great experience there. I didn't know anything about driving trucks. Okay? I started off working at a company called Ferraro Foods before JB Hunt. And this company was like a man, how can I say? It? I don't want to bad mouth companies, but we did everything illegal there. And I learned the wrong way of driving trucks there. I've learned I learned um, how how not to do a lot. I learned how to cheat log books and all that stuff. This is when we, you know, we still were drawing the stuff in. I, I, I barely even use a log book there. I didn't even, I wasn't even educated on that. I didn't get educated on that until I went to J.B. Hunt. And that's how I learned how to actually do a log book properly. I didn't know that you could get fined and all these tickets. I didn't know about all this stuff. And I'm telling you, people pay for what they don't know. And trust me, you're gonna pay for what you don't know, whether it's a good thing or bad thing. You're gonna pay in fines, or you could pay with your life, you know, it depends. So it's better to to know and to learn. So one day when you're out here doing your own thing, you can apply those principles and rules to the industry. This is not an industry that I'm just gonna get rich. It's not like, it's like anything else. It's not about getting rich real fast. There's real, there's real work required here. There's real thinking. It's, it's not just, you're, you're a professional driver. And a lot of us, we, we, we take that for granted. We, we don't think about that. Like, you're a professional driver. You understand what I'm saying? So, I started out 
listen, this company, when I went there to go work for, for, for our foods, and maybe you, some of you know them, and some, you know, maybe you never heard of them, but this is hard labor, you know, delivery, it's kind of like U.S. foods, it's the same thing. But uh, I started off there, funny thing is, when I, when I went to this company, I didn't know how to drive a truck. I just came from school, I learned on a seven speed truck. I didn't even have to use the teacup here. I learned on a seven speed truck, man. Spanish dude, I think his name was Miguel, he taught me. He said, this is how you do it. So when I went to Ferraro Foods, I got in this truck. And shout out to you, Big Will, because you saved my life, man. You saved me, bruh, whether you know it or not. But and I know you remember this. So I uh, went there, I got in the truck, the instructor came out, he said, uh, yeah, we're going to take this truck over there. So I'm, I only know a seven speed. I hop into the truck. I'm looking like, what the fuck? 10 speed. And I'm looking at the shift now and I'm like, uh, I don't really know how to switch this. So the instructor said, I'll be right back. I got to go grab my pen and stuff. He went into the shop. I called my friend Big Will. Big Will, you witness to this comment on this. I called him. I said, yo. How do you switch the gears again? How do you get to the um to the next level of gears? He said, you're going to do one, two, three, just like your regular switching. You're going to hit the teacup up while you're in fifth gear, and you're going to start back over. I'm a fast learner. Instructor came back, got in the truck. I did exactly what he said. It worked out perfect. I did get stuck in some gears a little bit, but I still got through it. I got the job. Crazy, right? So my point in telling you this is that if this is something that you want to do, you want to learn. You want to understand how to actually drive a truck. Let me tell you something. You can't afford to be out here as an owner operator learning how to drive a truck. It is going to cost you thousands of dollars. You're going to destroy your clutch, your transmission. You're going to tear your truck. You're going to rip shit down. You're going to do a bunch of craziness. In my opinion, I would tell you, go work for a major carrier because they can afford the breakdowns. They can afford the mistakes. You can't afford the mistakes when you first buy your truck. So don't think that you're going to wing it because you're not. You are not going to wing it. And I'm telling you, I thought the same shit and you're not going to do it. So if you're young right now, you're hungry, you want to you get into the industry, go work for a major carrier for about, about two years. Give it about two years. Get through all of the pain and the the BS, and then as you go through that, save your money, save up some money, and then go and look at some trucks, understand trucks. Now, depending on what truck you're going to get, make sure you study that truck to find out what are the major breakdowns. Before I bought this Freightliner, before I went and got this truck, I was already driving Freightliners for a lot of years, so I was already familiar with what, what's gonna break on them. That's why preventable maintenance is very powerful. That's why I'm constantly going to the shop or I'm constantly working on the truck myself. I showed you the videos of my tools. It's better to be prepared or you're going to get caught in life with your pants down. And that's painful. And sometimes you could do everything right and it still doesn't work. And that's all right. That doesn't mean you quit. You start back over and you just do it again. You understand? So my opinion to you is get the experience with one of the mega carriers that you choose. There's a lot of them out there. Get the experience first. Learn it. Come back and then apply it to your own thing. Understand the business side of trucking. There's a lot to this. It's not just something you wing overnight. It's going to take you a while. Even if you're in a financial in a, in, a, in, a, in a very tough spot not now financially. If you're in a tough spot financially right now, buying a truck is not a good idea for you. You need to fix that. I'm just being real with you. If you financially fucked up right now, being in that right now, no, you shouldn't buy a truck. You shouldn't buy a truck. Just being real with you. Fix that situation and then, you know, then think about purchasing a truck and you're going to need some money on the side you're going to need money you're buying this is a big investment this is not just something you play this is a real investment and this can put you into serious debt it could, i've heard stories people damn near almost lost their house really trying to buy a truck and you know it didn't work out correctly how they wanted it to because they jumped the gun and i'll tell you more about you know i'll get more into where i got my truck from 
I'll do more videos on that. I'll talk about where I got my truck from, why I bought it there. Um, I'll talk about having credit and, um, be, you know, all those things. I'll get more into videos like that, but this is just for, I just wanted to get this video out there because I get this question a lot, you know, where should I start? You know, go to school, learn how to drive a truck. If you got someone who owns a truck company, learn how to drive from them, let them teach you. Make the mistakes with the major carriers because you can't afford to make the mistakes as an owner operator. You got to be sharp because you don't want those type of breakdowns and you don't want those type of mistakes because you're paying for the insurance. Once you start getting into these um, these difficulties and these bad situations with uh, with insurance, you know nobody wants to work with you. Nobody's nobody's going to take you on. It's just it's, it's it's a pain. So your license is your bread and butter. Protect your license. Don't be doing stupid shit. If the speed limit says 55, maybe 52, stay at 55. If it says 70, I'm doing 65, 62. You know, see, a lot of, you, you're going to find that there's a lot of negative people in trucking. A lot of these guys are very, very negative. They'll tell you don't do it. They'll cry and tell you don't do it. And they'll give you a thousand reasons why, why you shouldn't do it. I'm telling you, go on and do it, man. If you do it or not, if you do, if you learn it, understand it, and you apply the principles, the fundamentals of what it takes to be a professional driver, you're going to be all right out here. You're going to be all right. You're going to make money. Your family's going to be happy. You're going to multiply your business. You're going to do well for yourself. All right. If you have a good attitude like myself, you're going to be great out here. But it's a lot of guys that are negative. They'll laugh at you for using the clutch for shifting. But I guarantee you, a lot of that shit that they do in the as as company drivers, when they are owner operated, they won't do that shit. You won't do that. I guarantee you won't do that. You're gonna use your clutch, okay? You're gonna use your head because now you gotta pay for that. You're not gonna wanna cut corners because you're gonna pay for it. I'm just being real with you, my friend. There's a lot of guys, they talk a lot of smack, but I'm telling you, learn the industry, man. So y'all be safe out there, truckers. And uh, yeah, man, keep America going around, man. It's your boy A1 Aaron signing out. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be safe.